we're going to drop into this moment thank you for being here and remember this is our massive massive work that we're doing to clear these huge embedded imprints and codes of pain hardship and despair we've all got them no one's exempt if we've been born into a family line which we have we have a genetic imprint so when we look back at our family line and we look at the old photographs we can see little semblance of our, ourself and we can see or can notice that we talk in a similar way and we belong because there is a visual a genetic imprint that says we belong to this group but remember that we also have an energetic imprint and that energetic imprint is felt by us it's known to us through our sensory being and that's a hard one for us to deal with we can sometimes cover up the things that we don't love about those little links that have come through the genetic pool we can disguise them and cover them up but the energetic imprints we can't hide them away and we cannot cover them up and as much as we spend our energy in trying to defend deflect deny distract destroy and push it away all that energy that we're using to not face this thing this sense this feeling that is still awakening in us so please remember that we all hold these and they nudge nudge and tap tap upon our consciousness our awareness not because there is a reason for us to be in pain or suffering or to remember suffering it's so that we can be the healers of this it's a hard concept that to understand because we have gone so far away from who we are and the awareness that we're here to heal our family lines every single one of us is here to help and to heal all the pain and all the distortions and all the clutter that is being created through the pathway towards our higher consciousness all that debris that has been accumulating behind us it is a little bit like a comet in fact that's the picture that was shown to me to describe and explain this to me so just a massive download of information and this was the picture that this beautiful comet and we know it because we see it careening across the sky and we see this beautiful trail this beautiful tail behind it and we think oh my gosh how gorgeous that is well yes it is it looks beautiful doesn't it but the part that is moving forward is pulling along behind it the accumulation and the history of everywhere it's been everything it's connected or collided into and because it's moving forward as are we we are creating an electromagnetic field so everything that is in our pathway we draw into the pathway that now sits behind us so the longer we have been pulling this along that's how long the trail is and the other image that comes in is when we see these beautiful birds flying in formation and we notice how they do that sort of v-shape and there is the one in the front and it's just breaking the wind it's just breaking the resistance of the wind and the others are so perfectly positioned as cyclists do as well to be in the stream the stream that is not so hard for them that little trail that is behind the one that's in front cannot stay there the entire flight because it's too much hard work so that one drops away a little bit comes towards the back and the next one goes and takes the full thrust of having to push through the space with no help with that resistance it's a little bit bad so here we are generation after generation asking somebody a new fresh lot coming in to take upon them these great burdens this trail of the clutter and debris and hardship and to bring healing to it but somewhere along the line we have forgotten that that is what we are supposed to do and somewhere along the line the distortion of the awareness of suffering and survival has become so embedded in our psyche 
that all we can think about is that's what we're here to do, suffer and try to find a way to survive and survival is hard and you have to endure and you have to suffer a lot to know that your life is worthwhile and that you're worthwhile. That was a system, it was a code that was planted into our awareness because it was a truth way back when we were here and it was difficult, difficult and people had to find a way to survive. And the idea that they would survive so that the next generation could come in, that was the main thought procedure in that. That each of us would pull as hard as we could, manage as much as we could, then relinquish it and hand it on to the next one who would do the same pitiful misery and pull it along and pull it along and pull it along. It's so exhausting. We've got to find another way and we've got to come back to what it truly is. What we've come through are imprints and implants, massive connections to awareness. Everything that we felt and everything that was felt by our ancestors was a warning, a little imprint or a code that said, oh my gosh, when the sky looks dark and gloomy like this, immediately become terrified immediately become cautious. We were signaled to hide away, to run away, to defend or protect ourselves. And it would only take a nuance for us to quickly activate that and to come through and find another way to be. So those emergency signals have now become urgent signals in us. Even though there's no more emergency the urgency inside of those signals is now connecting into our awareness. You will know that you are carrying an imprint, a code of hardship. If you are suddenly aware of a sense that is in you that makes no sense, something triggers you and you feel so reactive, so disruptive, so upset. And the people around you will say, oh no, it's not like that. Please don't make such a big thing of it. It's not so bad. And why must you always be so dramatic? Calm down. They will give us all those kind of awarenesses that this is not so bad. But if it is a trigger signal, an urgency energy signal in us, I don't care who tells us to calm down and to relax and it's not so bad. It feels very, very bad. It feels terrifying, foreboding and threatening on every single level. And our entire reactive system, our adrenal system starts to try and find ways to protect us, defend us. And all this energy goes towards that, finding a way to protect us. Let us recode that as we go through these now. We release these imprints through the energy field because that's where they sit. And if we can start to release the imprint and the sense of urgency in these signals, we can start to use our energy in a different way. So many people are saying that they are exhausted. They feel as if they're dragging themselves through this life journey. We've given ourselves all these fabulous labels, but all of that, we're not sick, we're not broken, we're just signaling, we're signaling so much and we're using all our energy that it's impacting upon this being, this human being. These knock-knocks, these impacts upon us are the knock-knocks upon the door of our awareness that are trying to awaken us. So let's do it we go but how we've always wondered how will we do this how will we manage and we've always gone to the head let's work it out in the head let's make sense of it you cannot make sense of a feeling that is so alarming in your system that you cannot be even begin to understand it yourself how can you make sense of that the only route that we have is to clear it energetically because it's an energetic imprint and that's what we're doing. That's why we're here 
and that's the gift that we get to bring in as the healers for our land. I want to just to recap that so that we do get the sense of the purposefulness of what we're doing. It's not just a random gathering once a week so we can all feel a little bit better. You will feel a lot better that the gift that you give is to break a cycle of suffering and survival that has trapped us in all these terrible emotions, hardships. That, my treasures, is the switch to our leap towards our higher awareness, higher consciousness as humanity. That's the switch. If we can see that, if we can start to understand it, that if we're not playing in this game of survival all the time, then we're not activating the energy of suffering, hardship, enduring, then we have an opportunity to turn our dial and change the station that we're playing in and turn it into a higher frequency, one that says we're ready to thrive. We are encoded with this magnificence and it is right here and it is in us. It is part of our unique blueprint. It's all here, it's all available. It's just this little mindset that says, we must struggle, we must have hardship, we must suffer, and we must try and survive. Drop that game, drop that idea, find every possible moment from this moment forward for the rest of your life to check where you are. Are you playing in survival or are you playing in thriving? And the more of us who steer our energy towards thriving, we will change the trajectory of our human pathway. More and more and more are coming into this and this is the gift that we've got. So isn't that wonderful? It's a great story, especially when we're hearing how awful life is. But it's only awful because everyone's still playing in survival. Look at the energy around the world, look at the news, you will see it there. You cannot miss it. It's everywhere around us. So stay clear, stay connected, stay in your energy and hold the space in my treasures as we go forward and we continue to clear now.